Roe versus Wade ushered in the uh, Levian Satanic Bible, which is just an excuse. It's just see, there's but one Allah, and Muhammad is his prophet, so you can't go around and then new religions. I mean, you you can't call it Islam. That's it. We're done. This is Islam, not that. So Islam is stuck in the dark ages while, you know, all these false prophets pop up Judaism, you know, 200 or more generations perfecting the traditions of every corner of the known world and beyond. And then Christianity, 2000 years, pretty much the same approach, but with uh, the, the prophecy having been fulfilled, these are religions. Well, you know, worth dying for, preferably you first. Islam is a racket. You are either a slave of the prophet or the infidel. That's all there is. In the scope of human evolution, all that we are capable of is slave of prophet or infidel to be converted by the sword either to slave of prophet or the dust. You see, slavery was an inherent fact of life in the time of Christ. So there are guidelines on how to treat your slaves because if your kingdom went bankrupt, your estate was going to settle the balance, but it wasn't a slave raiding operation. You can't convert somebody to Christianity by the sword. You convert them by the dust. You convert them to the dust. But we don't accept ass in lieu of payment, turn the other cheek, work things out, or, you know, turn out to be a deadbeat. And this could all be put to better use. We have repealed Roe versus Wade, and I have debunked Satanism. The colonial fascist profiteer prisons on the land in America competing in a contest to demonstrate mastery over the land and its people in spite of the democracy is expanding. They are manufacturing, manufacturing scarcity in our pharmaceutical industry in order to generate uh, numbers for their, their quotas. They want to fill beds. They got zombies on the street, the zombie apocalypse. They take, you know, the, the pharmaceutical, the prescription pharmaceuticals off the market and then you know, uh, whether they had a quasi suitable substitution off the market or on the black market, they, they manufacture scarcity and they replace it with something a little more conducive to their agenda, which is to sell all this right out from under you, Washington. What's Kim Jong-un's contingency plan? Somebody shoots him in the face. Allahu Akbar, Kim Jong. I'm a Templar. All this, this general direction right here, under my protection, slave of the prophet, infidel, regardless, Jesus forgives. We'll let you know if he shows up. Ain't hey, no join or die. You're standing here, ain't you? First, do no harm or die. The meek shall inherit the earth. I ain't got no cage to put you in, Kim Jong. I keep a hole dug. Better pray for rain. Better pray for Geneva. Geneva take you out of the uh, war crimes president at the Hague and make you secure Secretary General of the UN Security Council. It's been done. Geneva, if, if Geneva Convention is not represented on the land in America, we get to just bomb all this until it is, right? Wait, what's the stipulation for whether... Oh, it's already met? It's already met, Senate Judiciary. Always ready, huh? I tell you to ask John McCain what that means, but you saw what they did to him. Is there not one among us who knows what that means? And they're not pure enough. They're not innocent. They're not uh, white enough. They're not childlike enough to serve as the iron fist beneath the velvet glove of diplomacy. We all just mind our manners, it'll go away.